Alam, pag-receive ngayon. Oh, wala akong report on that. Eh. Yeah, oo. Oh. Anyway, pa pabalik na yung team kung gusto nyong ma-ano. Pabalik na yung team? Oo. Hindi, ambushin nyo na lang sa labas. Wala naman siguro yung discussion, no? Basta uh, procedural lang yan, eh. So, binigay doon yung documents, yung subpoena and complaint, and they took it. So, wala naman discussion, I, I believe. So, it was just received, and then yung assurance that they will produce from the Monday, it's based on the cooperation, sir? Oh, well, no? Part yun, no? Uh, we, we hold on to that. Nasabi nyo, they will cooperate fully with us sa investigation. And that's part of their obligation under the BFA. Okay. Thank you. At yan po ang press conference ni DFA Spokesperson Assistant Secretary Charles Sose. Anya ay naihain na sa U.S. Embassy ni na Assistant Secretary Ed De Vega ng DFA Legal Affairs at Senior State Prosecutor Emily Fe De Los Santos na tagapamuno ng Special Investigating Team ng Olongapo Prosecutor's Office ang sabina para kay Private First Class Joseph Scott Pemberton na dumalo sa preliminary investigation sa susunod na linggo. Panoorin po natin ay babang bahagi ng naturang Press conference. Everyone, I have a uh, statement to make on the uh, uh, Laudi case. The Department of Foreign Affairs, together with the Office of the City Prosecutor of Olongapo City, today served the subpoena and complaint against Private First Class Joseph Scott Pemberton for the murder of Jeffrey Laude, also known as Jennifer along with the subpoena for four U.S. Marines required as witnesses for the case. The, prelimina the preliminary investigation will commence at the office of the city prosecutor on October 21, 2014. The Department of Foreign Affairs is committed to working with other government agencies in the pursuit of justice. Uh, well, nagpunta sa U.S. Embassy, no, si Assistant Secretary for Legal Affairs, si Assistant Secretary Ed De Vega, kasama yung uh, city prosecutor no, ng Olongapo City. Ah, yes, yes. Na-receive na. Inintay na yung ma-receive bago kami nag-issue ng statement. Well, sa Pina, no? Uh, requiring Pemberton to appear dun sa prosecutor's office on Monday kung saan mag-start na yung preliminary investigation together with the copy of the complaint no, 